Good morning students. Once again, Gargi ma'am is back. Yes, Independence Day got over. We had a nice weekend, a Saturday and a Sunday. But then children, you won't believe when I was comparing the Independence Day of last year with this year, it felt so different. You won't believe children. It felt like, you know, we are celebrating something for the first time virtually and we were missing you we were missing you in the school you know atrium we were missing you in the school assembly area where we were so used to seeing you during the assembly time right children so maybe next year it's going to be different again again we'll see each other yes so i hope everybody's staying safe and staying locked all right Yes, we met each other last week during the live classes, but we didn't have our audiovisual class. Remember, it was a holiday. It was a holiday. So we didn't have that class because it was Janmashtami. We had a holiday that day. So today I am beginning with my lecture number 24. Okay, lecture number 24. It's an audiovisual class, right? And the name of the chapter is owls in the family okay and i remember doing this yes as a reading with you during our class in the live uh, uh, forum that is uh, last tuesday but uh, sorry i beg your pardon last wednesday but then i did not do the whole chapter with you right so moving on as i had already discussed the writer of this story the prose is Ruskin born yes he is a very very popular Indian writer of British descent means he's a Britisher but he lives with his family here out here in India all right and he is very very famous for writing stories for all age group and this happens to be an extract from one of his story books so, owls in the family. Alright. Now, this is called a bird bath. As I was saying that we get dahi or rasgulla or gulab jamun in, you know, earthen pots. You know, that is what we used to get it previously. I don't know how many of you have still uh, seen that. But normally when we used to get uh, gulab jamun or rasgulla or dahi, um, it was like sweet curd. We used to get it in earthen pots and what we used to do, you know, like in my childhood and my mom used to do that and I have taken after her seeing her doing that and still I do that. I keep it for the birds outside in the balcony filled with water. So once the sweets are devoured by us or consumed by us, what we used to do is we used to fill in water, all right, we used to fill in water and I still do that either I use it for planting or I use it to keep water in it and then um, you know my husband helps to tie it with uh, wires you know fused wires and hang it in our balcony there's a balcony just right outside my room and birds especially when they are thirsty they come they come and they take bath and then they drink and it's so lovely you know I want to shoot a video and I'm going to send it across, you know, I'll, I'll share that once during our live classes, okay, let me shoot it because I get to see a lot of sparrows coming, okay, because sparrows are very cute, isn't it, they're tiny and they're cute, but sterlings means we say shalik, sterlings and crows and pigeons are huge, so they don't feel comfortable to come and, you know, dip in that blood, you know, bird bath because the vessels are small in size now let me read owls are birds with round heads with flat or dished faces okay they have frontal eyes and a short hooked bill they are nocturnal birds birds which are awake during the night let's read and find out what happens when an owl's family visits grandfather's house. So one winter morning, 
my grandfather and I found a baby spotted Alet by the veranda steps of our home in Dehradun. When grandfather picked it up, the Alet hissed like that that's called hissing and then after a meal of raw meat and water settled down under my bed spotted alets are small birds and have none of the sinister appearances of the large owls the alet is not normally afraid of people nor is it strictly a night bird but it prefers to stay at home during the day as it is sometimes attacked by other birds which consider all owls their enemies. Other birds are very, 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 very vicious towards owls. Vicious means they hateful. The little owlet was quite happy under my bed. The following day we found a second baby owlet in almost the same spot on the veranda. Only then did we realize that where the rainwater pipe emerged through the roof, there was a rough sort of nest from which the birds had fallen. We took the second young owl to join the first and fed them both. So they could understand from where the owlets were coming to the bar on veranda. There was a water pipe, you know, water pipe means the rainwater, you know, comes out, gushes out of that pipe and goes out. <coughs> it's like a drainage. So the owlet the owl must have built a nest on the mouth or the opening of the rainwater pipe and from there the baby owls or the owlet keep falling onto the balcony or the veranda of the poem of the narrator the narrator is ruskin Ball. okay and there was a rough sort of nest from which the birds had fallen we took the second young owl to join the first fed them both. When I went to bed, they were on the window ledge, just inside the mosquito netting and later in the night, sorry, and later in the night, their mother found them there. From outside, she sang in a soft voice for a long time and in the morning, I found that she had left a mouse with its tail tucked through the mosquito net. Obviously, she placed no great trust in us as a foster parent. Foster parents are like us. The other day I was discussing, we are like your parents in school. So, we are known as foster parents. Right? Similarly, they were looking after the Alits. So, they are called foster parents. But they are not owned because they have not born that. The young birds thrived and 10 days later, Grandfather and I took them into the garden to release them. I had placed one on a branch of the mango tree and was stooping to pick the other up when I received a heavy blow on the back of my head. That's what birds do, big birds. They come and peck you roughly. A second or two later, the mother owl moved downward quickly on grandfather. But he was quite agile, means swift, prompt, and ducked, and ducked. Remember, the other day I was showing you, ducked out of the way. Quickly, I placed the second owl under the mango tree. Then from a safe distance, we watched the mother fly down to lead her offspring into the long grass at the edge of the garden. We thought she would take her family away from our rather strange household. But next morning, I found the two alets in the veranda. Imagine the mother did not take them. I ran to tell grandfather. And when we came back, we found the mother sitting on the bird bath. She greeted us with a soft woohoo, woohoo. Now there's an unselfish mother for you, said grandfather. It's obvious she wants us to keep an eye on them. They're probably getting too big for her. 
to manage. So she must have thought that they're comfortable there. So she kept them and then she, you know, hoo-hoo to the grandfather and the narrator, that is Ruskin born. So the Arlets became regular members of our household and were among the few pets and grandmother took a liking to. Now there is going to be an answer which you have to write. Think and answers I'm going to discuss. You're going to do it on your own. And the answer is from here. Okay, why do you think the grandmother took a liking to the Arlets? She objected to all snakes, most monkeys and some crows. We'd had all these pets from time to ooh, snakes. But she took quite fancy to the Arlets and frequently fed them spaghetti. Spaghetti is like chow chow, chow min, pasta. You know, those are strips, flattened strips. They love to sit and splash in a shallow dish. They enjoyed it even more if cold water was poured over them from a jug while they war in the bath they would get thoroughly wet jump out and perch means perching on top sitting on a particular elevated means a top okay on a towel rack shake themselves and return for a second splash and sometimes a third during the day they dozed on a hat stand after dark they had the freedom of the house their naughty, sorry, their nightly occupation was catching beetles. Ooh. The kitchen quarters became a happy hunting ground. So they used to go to the kitchen. They used to pick, 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 pack, pick. All kinds of beetles they used to eat. I carry in my mind a picture of grandmother in her cooking chair. In a rocking chair with a contented alet. I'm so sorry for calling rocking. I am sure you must have had a hearty laugh. Rocking ko cooking bol diya ma'am ne. Yes. Rocking chair with a contented alet sprawled across her lap. Once on entering a room while she was walk taking an afternoon nap No, old people only snore, not the young ones like you. Okay, taking an afternoon nap, I saw one of the Arlets had crawled up. Both grandmother and the Arlet were snoring. Imagine both of them. Okay, that is what they were doing. Imagine. Now, understanding the text. Remember, we had done this. This is to be done in the book. I have also attached a PDF with the screenshot of the chapter I read out today because the other day I did not upload because the chapter did not get over. Remember, I said we'll do it in the next class. Yes, because we were discussing too many things in the live class. Now, this live class, uh, children, uh, we are going to do tomorrow during the live class how to write a letter. Yes, how to write a letter. Now, so this is to be done in the book. All right. Next. Answer these questions. Answer these questions with reference to context. Now, I have given you the answers to each and every question and each and every reference to the context. You will have to copy one and write the answer. Okay. Taking help of my answer keys. Now, think and answer these two I wanted to discuss. Would you have done anything different for the Arlets? Had you been in the place of the narrator? If yes, what? Okay. What would you have done for the Arlets? I would have made a nest for them. Okay. I would have made a cozy place for them where they could relax and sleep and eat. Okay. Maybe I could have sung for them, you know, taken my guitar and started singing. Oh, Arlets, how are you? So good to be your friend. Okay, I would have done that. Please excuse my tune. I was making up the song. So you can make up the answer. You heard how I said, I discussed it. Similarly, why do you think the narrator's grandmother liked the Arlets? Okay, 
she liked them because she never liked monkeys and snakes and she found them to be tiny and cute so she liked them because they were not troublesome like snakes monkeys yes and crows all right she liked them because she found them to be cute and tiny and comfortable to keep them home so you got the answer i have discussed it the other answers i have already given in the form of a pdf now children after this you are going to do playing with words okay you are going to use the correct answer to this okay correct answer i have also given you the answer keys not in my slide but in the form of a pdf okay to answer all these you can take help of my answer keys and then the footnote the homework need not be emailed as it has already been provided with answer keys okay learn the spelling now this is something we are shortly going to have the spelling so you must be prepared with the spellings of all the literature lessons we have covered you can quickly take a spelling test yourself or ask somebody to do that all right because you must be ready for spell b all right so everybody be prepared with all the spellings of the these five chapters i have taught you this is from book number 3 all right this particular chapter now the answers of think and answers and make sentences have been discussed so please do now make sentences children whatever words i have given you you will find the sample of the same in your lesson all right so you can take help of that and frame your own sentences so may i take leave sayonara bye bye see you tomorrow take care